Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today's going to be a short video, but we're going to take a look at how to search for wildcards in Excel. I think many of you know how to use wildcards, the asterisk or the question mark, but how do you search for a wildcard when you're looking through your data in Excel? So let's take a look and see how we can do that. So here we have just some various lists of characters and text. I have column A, we have several items that have an asterisk. And in column C, we have a few items that have question marks. Now an asterisk can be a wild card to represent a range of characters, an unspecified range of characters, while a question mark represents a specific or, or a single character. And what happens when you want to look for the asterisk or a question mark within your area. Well, to do that, you use the tilde, and that is the character right uh, to the left of the number one key. When you use your shift and hold that key, you get the tilde, and that will convert a wildcard into its literal character, a specific uh, asterisk or a question mark. So let's see how to do that. So if I hit Control F here, and I want to find, let's say, the asterisk. I'm going to say, I'm going to type in asterisk, click on find all, and you can see I pretty much get everything that's on my worksheet because it's a wild card and therefore it's going to find everything that's anything on my worksheet. So instead, let's say I want to find anything with an asterisk A. So I'm going to type in A, click on find all, and notice I get anything that has an A in it. I get the word trader, I get wildcard itself because there's a CA there, tally, jam, but that doesn't solve the problem I'm looking for, and which is I want to find anything with an asterisk A. Well, to do that, to convert that asterisk from a wildcard into a literal asterisk, I'm going to insert the tilde in front of it. And now I'll click on Find All, and notice I only get items that have an asterisk with an A, because that tilde converts that asterisk from a wildcard into an asterisk. So now it's searching for that asterisk character, not the wildcard asterisk. Same thing with a question mark. Here I have several instances of LEO. Some of them have a question mark, other ones like Leon, Leopold, Leonard. Uh, so let's say if I wanted to search for L-E, L-E-O question mark and do a find all, I'm going to get Leo, but I'm also going to get Leon, Leonard, and Leopold. But let's say I just want to find L-E-O question mark. What I would do is type L-E-O tilde question mark, hit find all, and now I just get LEO question mark because that tilde has converted that question mark, that wildcard character, into the literal question mark that I can use to search. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.